mic. That was good. Yo, what is up, world? Many Beeps here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is so good to see you guys, or I'm actually looking at the camera, and you guys are watching the video, and through the video, it looks like I'm looking at you. Now that I think about it, that's that's kind of complicating. But anywho, it's so good to see you guys watching my video. I hope that you guys are having a great day, night, or morning, or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. And I hope that you're having a great week as well. But this week's vlog, I'm gonna be talking about why I'm leaving the film industry and jumping into the music industry. I know that I've been studying film for about three to five years, um, but I think it's time to switch things up movies and pictures are getting a little stagnant for me. So like I said, I need to switch things up and what better way to do it than to be a DJ or to be a producer. So that is what this week's topic is about. But before we get into it, go ahead and roll the intro and I will see you guys soon. Hey, what's up? So, welcome back, first of all. And uh, I was totally lying about leaving the film industry. Yeah, I'm, I'm never leaving the film industry. That's that's a joke. And uh, yeah, I'm never gonna leave it. I just thought I'd start off the vlog that way so I have your attention. So, I hope I have your attention because this week's vlog I got a lot to share with you. So, like I was saying, I'm not leaving the film industry, but I am going to be jumping into the music industry at a very snail pace. And what I mean by that is in the past 10 years, I've really gotten into EDM music, Switch. which is electric dance music if you're not anything familiar with the genre. So I'm really excited to finally start making music and finally starting to learn music like theory, chords, learning the programs, and everything that music producing involves. I'm just really excited to finally start my journey with music because I've gone to many, many shows if you've been watching the vlogs here and there in the past couple of years. So I really have fun going to those shows. Right, right now, it's the time to make some noise and put your hands in the sky. Los Angeles! Oh, have a I got no. Connecting to the DJ and also the people around me and just sharing an experience and sharing the love for the music has just been really incredible. So to finally be able to start trying to emulate, trying to make music with that same sort of mentality and that same sort of love and drive, I'm just really excited to start. So I recently purchased Cubase 10 Elements and that is a DAW or a DAW, which actually stands for this here. What this program does is allows me to make music. So I'm really excited to learn the ins and the outs of this program. A lot of you who know the music industry and the music world are probably wondering why I chose Cubase. And those who are new to the music world or don't know anything about it, Cubase is a program that I actually felt comfortable with buying. There's so many programs you can go with like Ableton or Fruity Loops, or no, it's not even called Fruity Loops anymore, or FL Studio. So there's many, many other options you can go with. I chose to go with Cubase 10 because it just aesthetically looked not so scary, if that makes any sense. I wasn't scared or wasn't daunting when I looked at videos of this program. And to me, it actually really looked like and resembled Premiere Pro, which is a video editing software. So it was actually a no brainer that I went to Cubase 10. And another reason why I went with Cubase 10 was because of the price. Now there are many other DAWs or DAWs, like I was saying, and they all range from different prices and they all come with different applications right out of the box. Cubase 10 just worked out for me because it was only $50. So to me, that was a steal. I'm so happy I bought this program. And as someone who is new to music, it is nice that I don't have to go out and buy all of the sound samples. Cubase 10 Elements has a lot of them packed inside of the program for only $50. So that was a really huge plus for me. And also my favorite DJ, Don Diablo, he actually uses the same exact DAW. So it was basically a no brainer in buying Cubase 10 after all of those factors, the price, all of the plugins and the sound effects and sounds that it comes with. And then also my favorite DJ uses that program as well. So it was a no brainer. Okay, so after purchasing Cubase 10, it is time to finally learn this program inside and out. I wanna be as fluent as I am in Premiere Pro, 
which I feel like I'm pretty fluent in. I wanna be that fluent in Cubase 10. So it's gonna take a lot of time, which is okay with me. I have nothing but time. I'm really in no rush at all to learn this program and also to learn how to make music, how to put together a song, how to understand music theory, anything and everything that comes with music producing, I wanna take my time with and I want it to organically, naturally happen. I don't wanna be stressed about spending more time or less time on something when I'm already into a really crazy, busy, time consuming, industry as it is. All right, so my first week using Cubase 10, it was a little confusing, I will say, but there are so many tutorials online that you can follow. Cubase actually has a really nice YouTube channel where they have a lot of tutorials that teach you how to use the program inside and out. And there are also a lot of other YouTube channels and videos that show you how to use and do certain applications within Cubase 10. So that for me was a huge thought into buying Cubase as well. If it had a nice archive and a nice library of videos and tutorials of how to do certain things, within Cubase, it only made me feel that much more confident in buying Cubase 10. So after about a week of trying to make music with my keys on my keyboard and not having a MIDI controller, things were really tough. That became really frustrating because you can't play any keys or any chords or any kind of music in a natural way without having a MIDI controller. So I began to do some research and looked online at my local guitar center for what is the best MIDI controller for Cubase 10. And before going into my local guitar center, I found that Akai or A-K-I-A, -A, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I think you pronounce it Akai. I found that Akai had a $100 MIDI controller and it was actually a really nice one. My uncle uses this to make music and produce music. So I thought it would be a really nice and simple transition in buying it, learning it, and being able to share it with my uncle and my friends who know the music world because I kind of don't, I'm more of a film guy, but like I said, I thought Akai was the way to go. So heading into Guitar Center, I was ready to buy my $100 Akai MIDI controller, and turns out that it doesn't work with Cubase 10 or Cubase at all. You have to program the keys, which to me is a very daunting thing because I don't really know Cubase as it is. So asking someone like myself, a beginner, to program all of the buttons to the actual program is super novelty to me. So I had to look elsewhere in different MIDI controllers and sure enough, there was a MIDI controller that was actually a little bigger than the original Akai MIDI controller that I was looking for. And this one, I actually really fell in love with as soon as I saw it. And the one that I ended up going with was the M-Audio Oxygen 25. <laughs> Now the 25 signifies that there are 25 keys on this keyboard and there are also eight pads so that I can make some cool funky beats. And then there are also 25 knobs as well that I can control volume or whatever else I'm gonna soon learn what you control with those knobs. So I'm really excited and happy with my purchase. It was a little bit more expensive than $100. It actually came out to $150 with a two year warranty. So I'm actually very happy with the price. It is a little bit bigger than the Akai MIDI controller, but I'm okay with that because I'm not gonna be traveling too many places with my MIDI controller making music right now because I'm still learning the program. I'm still learning chords. I'm still learning music theory and anything and everything in between. And then also I'm still trying to figure out what my particular sound is as a producer. So like I said originally, I'm not in any rush at all to learn music or learn Cubase 10. I really just wanna have fun with this and try to see what organically comes about it. I really enjoy the ability to be able to express myself, my emotions, and tell a story through music because I listen to music every single day. I don't know if you guys do, but music plays a huge role in my life and it may play a big role or a huge role in your life as well. All right, so that felt super long-winded. Like I said, I'm not leaving the film industry no way, shape, or form at any given time, any given day, no matter the weather, no matter the time. I already said that. No matter the place, I'm not leaving the film industry. This is just another hobby that I wanna start and I wanna learn. This is something that excites me. And I don't know about you guys, but me going to college and having graduated college, there was a void that it left me. I do really enjoy being a student. I do love learning about things. So I feel like from here on out to the end of my time on this earth, I wanna to continue to learn things that challenge me and that allow me to express myself and my emotions and to be able to tell a story. So music naturally is just the next step for me to learn and to harness and to hopefully be able to tell stories and share emotions with you guys as well. So if you are a beginner like myself in this whole music producing world, or maybe you're an intermediate music producer, or maybe you're even a advanced music producer, I would love to get some advice from you and maybe learn something from you as well. If you have any tips, 
any pointers on how to construct a song or how to better learn the time signatures within music, like for example, 4-4, four, four, um, stuff like that, anything like that, I would love to hear it. Drop a comment down below, get subscribed because I will continue to vlog about my entire process, progress and journey within making music and understanding music as a whole. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I know that this is totally different and new, something that you and I can share together and you guys can watch me as I progress in my music producing career, I guess you could call it sort of a thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this and I hope that you guys are as well. And any music that I make, it's not gonna be the best right now, but I'm more than happy to share it with you guys so that you guys can see my progress and so that I can get comfortable with the idea of sharing my music with you guys as well. So to wrap things up, I'm Matt Abib, the cinematographer slash teacher slash music producer slash whatever else in life I decide to pursue and chase with my full heart. Man, that was weird, <laughs> but with my full heart. You know what to do if you enjoyed this week's vlog. Go ahead and do a super jump on that like button. I gotta come up with like a music producer reference to hitting that like button. So one of these days I will. But until then, do a super jump on that like button and also get subscribed to the YouTube channel because every Wednesday is a brand new vlog, whether we're talking about music, cinematography, directing, location scouting, whatever the film industry world entails, whatever my life entails, and whatever music producing now entails. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great weekend. Have a great day. Hug your family, your mom, your dog, all the people that you love. And be sure to eat healthy, exercise, do everything you possibly can to keep your life healthy and also your body and your mind healthy. Have a great week. I'm Matty Beeves and I'll see you guys in seven days. Peace. So I reached recently. I can't talk. <laughs> this vlogging is so hard sometimes. Trust me, it's really hard. I have two lights set up here. I'm recording audio through my MacBook down there and then audio through my camera. So I have to sync the audio. So I have to sync the audio. It's a lot of work. But anyways, okay, where was I? Um